and welcome back to another episode of how to win at out of the park baseball this is silly billy and just fyi i had already started recording this episode immediately had to run to the bathroom and there was no way for me to pause it so i had to just stop and pick it up so we are at the trade deadline basically i haven't done anything really i just found out that i just really need to get a starting pitcher because this guy fucking sucks and I decided to lump him in a trade with Caleb Frere and Taiwan Walker is who I ended up getting basically an offer for and he has never been terrific anytime I've used him I think he always thought he was a little bit overrated but he's also still young and he's fairly inexpensive and still under some team control so I'm gonna go ahead and just trade for him because it is a need I have immediately really need somebody for that back end of the rotation let's go ahead I already demoted a couple people to uh, <laughs> wait what the oh yeah and also forgot I, I traded for Oliver Perez I guess I'm sorry uh, I fucked up folks and I uh, forgot I traded for somebody else so we're gonna go ahead and put both these folks onto our roster and that should definitely help with the rotation and the pitching as a whole Let's just see where we are whenever we do the lineup. I still need to get one more pitcher. Um, at least we got our starting rotation figured out now. That's really what I was more concerned about. Uh, the bullpen seems to be okay, and I've got a lot of cheap replaceable pieces. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just bump you back up. And I think we're good. I don't think I'm going to get anybody as far as a position player. Because again, as I said before, my main thing is pitching. So now that I've done that, we are done with the trade deadline and I'm just going to finish today, get us officially out of this month. And I received a personal message and I lost the last game of that month. I am in third place in the division. So now that we have done that, uh, one thing I also like to do uh, is, is play the actual game the day after the trade deadline once I have made the trade because that way I can, you know, get everybody back on an even footing. And these last two months are going to really be important for whether or not we make the playoffs. And right now, we're not doing so great. This is not what I'm actually used to doing uh, for this game. So we're going to have to go ahead and make ourselves a win here. Once we do that, I, I certainly have confidence that we're going to be in an upward trajectory. We're going to be on an upward trajectory at that point. But for now, we really just need to get back into the winning mode. So let's go ahead and check. Definitely going to replace Scott Kingry with Bo Bichette. And I guess it doesn't really matter. All right, I think we're just going to go with that. So start game, and we are playing the Giants. So based on history, we should be okay, but who, who really knows? But yeah, we, the Rockies love to pound on the, the fucking Giants. So we're going to go ahead and I, I accidentally hit pitch around, and we're apparently going to walk the first batter. So that's not what I had in mind. Whoops, that was my bad. Certainly didn't mean to do that. God damn it. All right. And we have to go through this whole thing. <sighs> okay, whatever. And we're pitching to Trevor's story now. So he's probably going to strike out. Strike yep, there we go. Because yeah, that's basically what Trevor's story does is strike out. Uh, we're okay. Um, we're going to... Get, have somebody steal a base unfortunately but we're just going to go ahead and, and move forward I don't have any real reason to care alright so we got the strikeout we got Andrew McCutcheon he's probably going to strike out he struck out alright struck out the side but we still ended up letting somebody on base go figure alright so Victor Robles is apparently going to strike out what the fuck Jamison Tyone, another pitcher who I don't particularly like, but a lot of other people do. He does really well in this game, so we might have some difficulty. 
<laughs> and we're already just just striking out like crazy. All right. Uh, come on. Give me something. Well, at least it wasn't a strike. It was a single. Fuck. I'll take a single. He has an 11 game hitting streak going on right now. All right. I'm on Kyle Tucker. That's not what I had in mind. Made nice contact though. All right, and you notice the uh, the scoreboard in the background uh, has got Nolan Arenado in it, and he is no longer even a part of the team. But it is nice that Out of the Park did update the scoreboard for the game. And we've got a grounder to second, and now we got David Freeze, who we're gonna apparently decide to walk. That's not what I wanted. Yeah, it should have made free swing a bat. All right, I think we got a double play. Um, or we don't. No, Bo Bichette really f chubbed that one. All right. So we got Ed Elias Diaz, rather. Um, another chance for a double play. And we got did get that one. So, all right. No harm, no foul. Moving on to the bottom of the second. All right, now we get to see how Evan Longoria is doing. <sighs> Not great. All right, moving on. So we got Jake Bowers. Come on, hit a home run. Hit a home run. That is not a home run, Jake Bowers. That is not. Fires a P to first. I don't think I've ever heard that one before, but I've heard of a P shooter, but I've never heard it like, in correlation with baseball and Bo Bichette has just come up with a hit all right so we got Carson Kelly coming up and he is actually gonna hit a single into fucking left field so we got two on with two outs and the pitcher is up and he's gonna strike out it's a shame because Herman Marquez actually did win the uh, Silver Slugger for pitchers last season. Well, at least we get Jamison Tyone up first so he can strike out. That leaves us with uh, four strikeouts so far in the game, which is pretty good. And Will Myers is going to chip that into right field for a fucking double, you piece of fucking shit. I hate Will Myers. I really fucking hate Will Myers. All right. Trevor Story up to bat. I should actually just plunk him. Really? We can't toss a th throw a third? Alright, I'm plunking him. Fuck it. That was clearly intentional, just for anybody who didn't know. Are we really going to walk the bases loaded now? My god, I just wanted a double play. Just give me a double play. It's Andrew McCutcheon, so we might get one here. Or we end up giving up two runs. And I don't know why Victor Robles had to wait a second before he decided to throw the fucker. Okay. I don't really care if we actually win this game per se. I just want to get on the right foot. <laughs> Similar to the opening day. I just want to get everybody back on board. Oh, it's going to be an out. It's an outfield assist. That was kind of cool. All right, we're back at the top of our lineup. Victor Robles going to strike out yet again. Oh, my God. Yeah, somehow I think this is the problem I'm having with this team is the strikeouts. They really go through quite a few. All right, so we're going to the top of the fourth. Still down to nothing. Oh, fuck off, you fucking assholes. All right. We're going to chip that into right field for a single. Thanks, David Freeze, for nothing. All right. And I guess we're going to give up some contact, but it's going to be a fly out to center field. Oh, my God, people. All right. Give me a double play. I'll take that. Because now I got the pitcher up to bat, and he's going to... Are we really going to walk the pitcher? We fucking walk the pitcher! Oh my god, Herman. Stop walking people. 
Alright, well, at least we got out of that. <sighs> okay. So, now we got Carl Tucker up. It is now nighttime. Hey, we got one through. Alright. So, Evan Longoria is up to bat. I'm going to try and steal. I'm going to try and steal again. Ah, okay, well, I'm just going to swing away then. Fuck off. And we're going to strike out! So now I'm going to try to run again. This is what you come across in this fucking game. They just don't want you to fucking steal. It's fucking stupid. Well, I got the walk. But now I can do the double steal. And it almost never, like, stops that. And I'm going to make it. Jake Bowers even got a stolen base. All right. Bo Bichette, come on. Just, just knock one out of the park. Or fucking strike out! Ah, well, I think we are actually going to get the runs in. We are. We are going to actually get the runs in. All right. There we go. We're tied. And Herman Marquez is back up to bat. He's going to strike out. Yep. Okay. Oh, boy. Well, it's tied now, at least. Come on. Ah, oh, fuck off. Trevor Story. Why do you break my heart? I'm about to say, if he gets a triple with that fucking ball in the second baseman's hand, I'll be so pissed. And he's going to fly out to center. Let's see if Trevor Story tags up. I suspect... Well, I really thought he was going to. Um, alright. Andrew McCutcheon. My god, people. Why? Why didn't you throw it home? You fucking simulator. Would I think it would really help if, like, anybody who designed this game had ever actually played professional baseball. Just saying. Well, we gave up a run. Guy double played it in the inning. Back top of our lineup, Victor Robles, who's going to strike out. Yep, okay. Thanks for nothing. <sighs> My God. Well, at least he didn't fucking strike out. My goodness, people. All right. Still behind. Three to two. But we're at the bottom part of their lineup. David Freeze strikes out. Dubal Herrera is probably not going to do anything. Well, he did get a single. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see. And we're going to go with uh, Elias Diaz and grounding into a double play. Or not! What the fuck, Boba shit? That's the second time you've done that. And they're going to bunt. But it's going to be a pop-up, so no big deal there. Let's just try to get Will Myers out. Can we do that? Looks like we can. All right. Now, because I've already given up three runs, I'm going to go ahead and just start warming up another pitcher. Um, I'll go with Will Latham. Or latch him, whatever. What the fuck is Ryan Madsen doing? He's doing horribly since I, I've got him. Oh, thank God he's a free agent after this season. All right. Um, so we're up to bat. Go ahead, swing, strike out. Yep, that's what I thought. He's only up to 86 pitches. That's that's the problem. <sighs> He's probably going to end up pitching into the seventh inning. Right My God, people! Swing at the fucking pitch! Oh my God! I'm, I don't. I actually didn't mean to pitch with Herman Marquez. 
God damn it. Alright, um, he is up to 96 pitches. I think I can still use him for a couple more batters. Well, we got the strikeout. I'm going to toss over to first real quick. I'm going to go ahead and pitch. I'm going to get the out. I think I can get Herman Marquez through this last batter. Trevor Story is going to steal. Yep. Well, strikeout doesn't matter, but you're going to fly out to right field, so either way, don't care. All right, I got my starter through seven innings, only giving up three runs, so that's good news. So I don't need my long reliever. I'm going to warm up Zach Britton. Okay. Bo Bichette is up to bat. Maybe something will happen. Yeah, strikeout. That's more... God damn it, why is he still... Okay, thank God they took him out. I was seriously about to get pissed. Hmm. Well, that's at least promising. All right, well, I got a pinch hit for Herman. Uh, I guess I'll go with Scott Kingery. Who I am going to sub out for Bo Bichette, because defensively, Bo Bichette has really hurt me today. Despite the fact that he just struck out. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead, put him at second. Put Zach Britton in the seven hole. I do. I would like you to be the pitcher, so you're going to automatically update. There we go. Probably not the greatest idea, considering I'm going against two right-handed pitchers, but uh, I think Zach Britton would be fine. See? He already struck one out. He's going to strike another one out. Well, no, but it's a fly out, so I'll, I'll take it. And Elias Diaz. See, there we go. We made it through the eighth inning. Now, we're at the top of our lineup yet again. I swear to God, if you strike out, I'm going to fucking get rid of you. Okay. Four strikeouts today is unacceptable. My God, people! Oh, come on! Hit the ball! Okay. Uh, Daniel Descalso, seriously? Okay, whatever. You know, somehow think Bo Bichette would have dropped that. All right, Will Myers back up. And he's going to get a hit. Of course he's going to get a fucking hit. I hate Will Myers. Ugh! Okay. 100th hit this season. How about I fucking hit you? Strikeout. Another strikeout? Yep. Okay. All right, we've got three outs left before this is going to be annoying as hell. All right, come on, Kyle Tucker. Just just hit a home run. Interesting. That's not a home run. Okay, two outs. That's a nicely hit ball. All hope is not lost. Okay. We got a runner in second. 
And I still got only one out in the inning. Okay. The rain has stopped. Okay. Come on, Jake Bowers. Please put the ball in play. That is not doing that! Okay. Last batter. Well, it's not going to be a strikeout. Come on. God damn it! Okay. So, we lost this game. Whatever. But, I gave the bullprint for the most part a rest. That was more or less what I was really trying to do. So, um, I only used two pitchers throughout. I mean, that's kind of cool. So we're going to leave game. And okay, um, that was very aggravating. And we're only 20 minutes into the episode. So let's go ahead and we're just going to go ahead and sim through the next two months, I guess. We don't have, it won't take as long because we won't have nearly as many uh, trade requests. Okay, and I got my compensation pick for my round three pick I didn't sign. So, okay, roster expansion. All right, so here's the thing. I mean, I only need to get into the 230s to qualify, or 240s now to qualify for a wild card game. Um, I'm only three games behind for the division. Four games behind in division. What the fuck, Rockies? Give me a break. Just, just, just win. Just fucking win. Okay. Okay. All right, we're 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 starting to show some signs of life. And we are still somehow in the wild card race. Um no cynic oh fuck off. Okay, whatever. It's not even worth going on the DL. I'll just skip your turn in the rotation. Uh Ryan Manson did something? I really should cut him, but I, I'm just waiting for roster expansion. Really, that's when my teams always seem to start going through the fucking roof, is roster expansion. As <laughs> we start putting 40 players on your team, you're gonna have, your odds are going to be much better. Okay, um, we are all of a sudden really, really into this wildcard race. Um, still not securing a seed. But five months. Wait, Victor Robles did something too. Okay, no, he's fine. Wait, Ryan Madsen. Oh yeah, you get like pleas from from like underperforming players for you to extend their contracts, and I'm just like, no, get the fuck out. All right, so. It is around this point that the screen capture decided to corrupt. I got a couple of days into September and it just is completely unusable after that. Luckily, I had planned on doing a separate episode for the playoffs and was going to do a whole feature about how my players develop so on and so forth. But because of this, that part got pushed aside and I won't probably do it. The good news is, is other than uh, that... I actually am going to go ahead and do other videos in the future in a more professional manner. This was just like a one-off thing I was doing out of boredom, but I actually think that I can do a decades-long run. I want to see how long I can actually go. And so look for those videos to come out really soon. I'm going to put a lot of effort into them as opposed to these videos that you've seen so far. And it's it's going to be great, folks. I, I promise. I even like paid to like get a video made for an intro like i'm really going all out so i hope to see you there and thank you for putting up with this and now for the finale of this episode and this series we are at the playoffs where we have squeaked into the second wild card spot of the 537 winning percentage enjoy all right and we are back with another episode of how to win an out of the park baseball we are exactly where I left off previously, the wild card game. So just all we got to do is sim through it. That's all we got to do. See, we already beat Pittsburgh. 
So we'll go through today, finish today. I, I always save whenever I, I get through the playoffs because you never quite know what's going to happen. And with this game, is completely unpredictable, so I don't want to lose my progress. This is basically to show you, once you reach the playoffs, you can just, just win at that point. The hardest part of this game is getting through the regular season. The playoffs is, are nothing. So, yeah, um, we're going to be playing Philadelphia today. Um, yeah, pretty much that's the way it is. So, next round. All right, and we have made it through. I accidentally put my mouth right on the microphone. I started breathing. Sorry if that was what you heard. We've already beaten Philadelphia. This is well going into proving my theory. So, um, yeah, just that's pretty much it. Um, I just got to go through the next round of the playoffs. And here we go. Next playoff round. If we can beat the Cubs, it would be really good. See? Oh, my God. See? Oh, we lost another fucking starting pitcher. Oh, my God. <sighs> okay. Okay, John. Well, I guess we do need this fucker then. All right. Place on playoff roster. Pitching. Ask for staff. This is why I was saying in a previous episode, I don't like Taewon Walker. Is he never ever works out for me, and he certainly is not now. Oh, and apparently we have another injured pitcher. Who it must be serious because. Oh no! It's just day to day. Okay, well that's good. All right, so we are now going to go. <laughs> it's like 2007 all over again. All right. Um, yeah, so we now are in the World Series with the fucking Boston Red Sox. You've noticed that the last two playoff rounds, we just absolutely nothing. And now we're in the World Series. All that effort that we had, uh, we went through during the regular season, this is where we are now. So we just got to get through the World Series. Until playoffs end. There you go. The Rockies have won the World Series. That's all you need to see. Right there. Is just fucking proof of life. I have done it. I did it with the fucking 537 win percentage. Uh, apparently I, I won the Moneyball Award. I think you get that pretty much if you win the World Series after you do a fantasy draft because of how the contracts are. That not really an accomplishment of any kind. Um, yeah, I did it all. Season score, not great, but I won. So, And we can go and take a look and see what happens when you win. Review season goals. Goal, reach the playoffs, result, World Series trophy. What more do I need to say? Yeah. Um, let's see they're pretty much just very happy with with my progress you want me to sign evan longoria to an extension are you fucking nuts <sighs> okay all right uh this has been a very short episode so i'm gonna go ahead and attach this to i guess the last one oh, this was stupid okay well uh, thanks for watching now you know how you can win the World Series and out of the park. Not at all hard. It's a little time consuming, but not hard.